Hey there, today I'm going to talk to you guys about this Thermal Right Assassin X120 Refined SE. It's a, a heat sink for your CPU. This gives you a radiator and a fan. Now, they do also make one that has two radiators and fans, but I don't think I have enough room in my case for that. So I'm going to try this one. I am a novice computer builder. I did build my computer. Let me show you what I have now. So here's what I have in the system. Now I have this AMD fan because it came with the uh, actual uh, AMD CPU, which is what I'm running on this. And this is the right board for it as well. This has um, RGB on it, which is kind of cool and all, but it's starting to make a lot of noise. Now I've had this for quite a few years, so uh, I think it's about time to replace it. It is noisy, it is loud. Um, I do some voiceover work and that kind of stuff. So I, I need it a lot quieter and more efficient. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put the new one in here and so um, I'm gonna just kind of take you through it and show you how it is done and we're gonna test it out and see if it's much quieter so let's go ahead and take a look and see what comes with this thing Okay, so here's what comes in the package. You do get instruction manual. You're going to get a large fan. You're going to get um, several different ways of mounting. So um, they have, and the instructions will tell you which one it is, depending on what board you have and so forth um, for this. Again, I have the AMD version of the uh, motherboard and everything else and the chips and so forth. So I have to figure out which one is which for that. Then there's different brackets. There's a little, a little standoff bracket here. And then also these brackets. Again, I believe it depends on which system you have. Uh, these little brackets here are what hold the fan onto this part here the radiator you do get some thermal paste as well which you can need to use uh, on your CPU I'll show you that and then this is the radiator itself so we've got uh, four pipes coming out through the radiator up through the top here um, on the bottom part here there's a little warning you peel this off um, just before you mount it. So I'm not doing that right now because this you want to keep this as clean as possible. And then some mounting screws here. Uh, but pretty nice. Now, one thing I am concerned about is how tall it is. I'm hoping it will fit in my case. Um, I think it will. I've kind of done some pre-measurements and it looks like it will. Uh, some of these things get really tall. Again, the double version of this um, with the two, two radiators and two fans looked like it was going to be way too wide to put into my case because it's a little bit compact in there. So here's all the pieces in parts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out which parts I'm going to need. I got to take the other uh, unit out and uh, we're going to go ahead and install it and I'll show you what that's like. Okay, I took the old fan system out uh, and now this is the CPU here, the brains of it. Now you notice there's all that little gunk on it. That is the thermal paste. I have to take that off uh, with some a uh, little bit of rubbing alcohol and then you have these brackets and according to the instructions you got to take these plastic brackets off. Now you got to be careful too from what I understand is that the, there's a plate on the bottom that can fall off if you are you're not careful so i heard to do one at a time and then put the other bolts on there so i'm going to go ahead and do that okay that was really easy to do we will put some more on here in just a minute oh so you know the on the instructions they show the different um the models so this is the amd it's an am4 and 5 motherboard here's an intel there's different ones different models and it tells you how to put them on for each one and that's what i'm doing here now here's the new standoffs I'm going to be using. They are marked. Here's the AM4 and 5, and those are the 1700, the 1200 for the Intel ones there. So I'm using the uh, red ones. Okay, I had the first bracket in here. Now, remember the other brackets were going across this direction here, and I took them off, and I realized I had to put them this direction now. And um, as somebody had mentioned before that I saw, is uh, you've got to, um, if you unscrew all of them, the back plate's going to fall through. So the way I'm sitting now, it will go all the way through uh, and fall through. So what I did is I just took these little bolts and put them in here to hold the whole back plate up so I can get these things screwed in. And now I'm going to take these out and put the other bracket in. Okay, now that I have the brackets in, it says to install the thermal paste. Now I've seen a bunch of different ways of doing it from a big blob in the middle to little blobs around. I'm going to go ahead and put a little blob, a little blob, a little blob in the corner. Let's do a couple little ones here. You don't want too much, but you want enough. So this is actually some left over in here. I'm, I'm sure I could do it, use it for another time as well. But that should be enough or plenty to um, put that on here. So then the next step is to um, take this, and I'm going to take the tape off of this here, a little protective stuff. And I'm going to mount this on. A, there's a, a little screw here, a little screw here, and they're supposed to line up with the... Um, the screws on this here. 
and then screw them in. So let's just Okay, so that is on there. Uh, it was pretty easy to do. Um, I just did it uh, just snug. You don't want it too tight, but just snug amount. And then the next step is to install the um, the fan part of it here. And we do that with these little brackets. Okay, the, the photo shows that it goes on the side with the RAM here. Um, and so that's this part facing out. Now this doesn't have any RGBs or anything, uh, but you do have to plug it in. So I will do that here in a minute. But I just mounted these little clips on here and we should be able to put them on and pull this to clip it on the edge of the fan, or the, the, um, the radiator blades here like that cable over here to cpu fan now what's nice is this can be adjusted um, down or up so now i just want to make sure that i have a proper clearance um, from everything underneath it looks like i do i can probably put it down just a little bit okay that should be good enough it doesn't have to be uh perfectly down there but there's space to uh to go so that is pretty much it there i'm gonna go ahead and install my um my uh, gpu which is i stuck over here um back in the slot make sure we have enough room to put everything in here okay i have it all installed here i have the case in the upright position everything is here and it looks like it just might barely um get let the case uh closure the door come on here so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on here and check it out okay got a little had a little bit of loud noise kind of to begin with but now that it's kind of rolling it sounds pretty quiet i'm gonna i'm gonna put the microphone up to it okay well that's really quiet again it had some noise when it first started up but if this is just operating noise, uh, now the, the, I'm not running anything on the computer. I haven't plugged it into to, to actually uh, in my monitors to actually run anything and open up stuff. So it's still kind of going through its wake up mode, but it's pretty quiet. I think my heater that's on uh, inside the studio is uh, louder than the fan is. Okay, I like it. So if you are looking for a good replacement radiator and fan for your computer, your CPU, this might be the right one for you.